In this video, we're going to demonstrate the uh, release of Price Change Manager. And in this version, the Price Change Manager is capable of changing the price on the inventory items and as well as the uh, modifiers. And when we say price change, uh, there's a difference between changing the price on the item and discounting it. So what this app will do is literally modify the base price of an item before putting it in a register. Uh, and so what you will see in the register transactions, there'll be no use of discounts to change the price. And so that's kind of the major difference of this app. Um, to get started, we're going to open the app and click on the plus sign, right? And so the discount has a name, right? So not a discount, but let's say uh, a scheduled price. We'll call it morning price, um, you know? And we'll, we'll call it all day event. And I know what I'm saying doesn't, well, let's call it Monday so that it does make sense. Uh, so here it is. We have Monday pricing, okay? And it's an all day event. Um, and it goes on for 24 hours. And it recurs every Monday, okay? Um, once a week. So every one Monday without an end. And the price goes up let's say uh, 50% and I go 50% just so that we can visually see without doing some extensive math on it okay and we're gonna hit next and so now we're gonna choose what item uh, do we want uh, for the price to go up and you can select the entire inventory if you wish but we're just gonna grab this Pepsi item here uh, to test with and I'm gonna show you in a minute what the Pepsi item cost is so there it is we've set up the price change and today indeed is monday so it should trigger today um and we're gonna look at our pepsi here real quick our pepsi cost is five dollars okay and it does have modifiers that are called toppings makes no sense but you know demo purposes anything is possible so we are in a register and if everything works out great, we're going to select Pepsi and it's going to go up in price uh, like so. Uh, 750. All right. Now you can click on Pepsi, go to its uh, modifiers. Where are the modifiers? Mm. Mm, there it is, modifiers. Right. And so we have tomato, mushrooms and meat. 10 cents. Boom. 15 cents. Modifiers. 73 cents. Boom. Dollar oh nine. Modifiers. Tomato for buck 63. 244. And so you can see uh, the prices have been changed up without, uh, and, and so it looks like, you know, this is it. This is the prices. And we're going to go ahead and, and, and make a payment now. Uh, there, everything popped open, everything got printed, and everything is done. Uh, but now let's go back to our inventory item, and we'll see that the item is still five bucks, and the toppings on it. Let me go ahead and disable our price change manager i'm just gonna stop it i'm gonna pause and we're about to be finished with this video and i'm gonna open the pepsi real quick pepsi there it is and it's five dollars and those modifiers are back to 10 cents 73 cents and buck 63 like so and so that's really the only side effect that you can see here is that that screen doesn't refresh. You can stay on the screen and choose the modifiers. And if you pop open our app, if you if you activate it, uh, between each modifiers, you'd be asked to go back to the modifier and select the next one. But aside from that, you know, this is the functionality that's been highly demanded. So here it is.